and the fight. sun. This fight brought to you by Naga World, the best business, leisure and integrated resort in Cambodia. The Salamas, four wins have all come in the first round, all bang knockout. I don't think you, you have to look at him too long to know that this guy hits hard. Just look at the difference in biceps, too. Big boys there. Fights with the right hand. Oh, oh good right that hand was from off. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, that was like lightning right down the 12 o'clock express. And it was as Salama was coming forward as well. I'm not sure if, um, oh, nice takedown take and a good reversal. Jason immediately scribbles on his scorecard. He'll be updating us on how he thinks the fight might be going. Just indicative. Three judges at cage side scoring the fight as a whole, not round by round, as per 1FC rules. You see. Song working the butterfly. Nice sweep. Right in the mount. And busy with the right hand. And oh, Sam is in trouble. Oh. It's over. What an impressive oh. start. Whoa, that reversal started it for him, and then the ground and pound came in. Winning his 1FC debut and improving his MMA record to 15 and 9. What a great start for this Myanmar fighter. Had his uh, initial contest postponed because of those visa problems, had to wait long and hard for this, and now he's done it. And that's a really big boost for mixed martial arts in his home country. How long will it be before we see a 1FC event in Myanmar? Well, when we do, surely this man will be front and center. Yeah, it was a beautiful butterfly sweep. Right into mount. Just a couple of nice short punches right on the butt. That was all she wrote. Spectacular finish for the young man. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Olivier Cost calls a hold of this battle. At three minutes, 54 seconds remaining in round number one, for your winner, via knockout, from the red corner, Angla, the Burmese Python, and so...
by Sweet. Brought to you by AGD Bank. Our main event of the evening. The crowd here, by far the noisiest they've been all night, and they've participated all evening long. Ong Lang Sang knows that he gets overexcited, and he's trying to calm down and really have his composure. 
not get utilize his game plan. He's, you know, he's got too excited in fights before, and it's cost him the bout. So this time he really wants to settle down, calm himself, not get overexcited by this crazy atmosphere that's here, and control the fight. Uh, it's Muhammad Ali who wants to make the quicker start. Angla and Sun does look pretty calm. Boxing closed mouth. Thunderous left hand, but it's caught by Muhammad Ali. You wouldn't think that Muhammad Ali would want this fight to go to the ground. He's a little bit tentative yeah, to engage. Reluctant. Yes, so Yuji sees that. Oh. Now, Yuji called him to stand up. Muhammad Ali changed his mind, but it's too late by that time. Up they get. Starting out, fighting out of the southpaw stance there. Angla and Sun switches occasionally. Muhammad Ali is just coming in with big shots. Both He's hands landing, the right hand going upstairs, the knee coming back, but it's the busy right hand of Muhammad Ali that's doing all the work there in the stand-up. It's a dirty boxing style, he just kind of grabs the back of Lung Zhang's head and starts throwing those uppercuts and hooks. This Lung Lung Zhang's got to kind of slow everything down, really gauge control of this fight, and he's trying to use that outside trip. Nice little technique. Drags him down. Muhammad Ali to his knees. But then Ali goes for the single leg. Now, Ong Lang, we need to see what Ong Lang Sang's like off of his back. This is Muhammad Ali really trying to hand fight there, control the hands. Nice little butterfly sleep. We've seen this before. Oh. Crowd making rapturous noise here at the Tuana Stadium. We've seen that same move before, that same butterfly sweep, but Muhammad Ali was able to roll, continuously roll out of it and get out of that position. Switches to orthodox, Angla and Son, as the crowd's noise rings in his ears. Again, Muhammad Ali goes for the single leg. Oh, there's a possible guillotine, it's deep! What a tremendous round of action. Muhammad Ali went in for the takedown and got caught in a guillotine. Made a very small mistake and it cost him the contest. You can see him get the single leg and Ong Lang Sang just kind of sneaks in that guillotine, walks the hand around. You can see Muhammad Ali trying to push away, but then the choke was just too much and he couldn't get out. A submission acquired on the counter. And it was so tight that it really didn't take Muhammad Ali very long to figure out that he'd had enough of that one. Yuji Shimada calling a stop to the contest just beyond the halfway mark in the first round. What a thrill for the fight fans here. Just have a listen in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Yuji Shimada calls a halt to this battle at 2 minutes 38 seconds of round number one. For your winner, by submission, via guillotine choke, Angla and The biggest star, pop culture star in Myanmar. Alexandre Machado of Brazil. Can he possibly tap out on Lauren Sun? A chance go up for Onla early. Seeing that size discrepancy you were talking about, Michael. Look how big Machado is. Onla's pressing forward. Look out for the right hand, the big top thumper on Onla and Sun. Roundhouse kick from Onla. Machado's got to get this contest to the ground. Even he knows it. He said to us yesterday, I can't match on last standing. I need to get it down. But once I'm down, that's my world. But the Burmese Python has got such slick submission skills. And he's also got really good wrestling. He's got good takedown defense. He can push opponents. He's got huge power. Oh, the big come out!
Look at that. Bebezon caught the head kick. He blocked it. But there was so much power, so much force coming with that head kick that he stumbles back. Allah doesn't even get to land a punch before Olivier Cross jumps in. And now, a two-division world champion. Let's go to Dominic Lau to enter this one into immortality. To present the medal for this match, please welcome once again Telenor Myanmar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Coast, has put a stop to this contest after 56 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of knockout, your one middleweight and new one late heavyweight world champion, Ong La Al
your referee, Mr. Olivier Coast, has put a stop to this contest after three minutes and 13 seconds in the fifth and final round for your winner by way of...